Hi folks. But this video comes from the last one, as is often the case. The last video raised some points, and the point being, is it wrong, therefore, for a leader of a church to be dressing up as Santa Claus and encouraging children to believe in something that does not exist? So, okay. Let's answer that question. Then. <laughs> There is one absolute way to answer that question. An absolute way. Yeah, you know you're lying when you tell children that Santa is true. Okay. If you know that you're lying, is it God who wants you to say that to children or the devil? If you say God, then you're saying God wants you to be a liar. As far as I know, God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, is where the truth comes from, not lies. Certainly, telling children to believe in a person that is basically a children's version of God when you know that that is not true and you should know should know that that may cause some problems later in believing in God when you're doing that who would want you to do that would God want you to do that or would the devil want you to do that Would the devil be wanting children all over the world to be taught something that makes them more, makes it more difficult for them to believe in God? The answer is, of course. Would God want that to be the case? The answer is, of course, not. So, if you are a leader of a church should you be involved in that sort of thing at this time of the year well mm, okay what is the church about mm, good question if it's talking about a churchy church then that church is about the world completely so yeah of course you should be doing this sort of stuff because that's what the world believes and wants children to believe and yeah great do it so therefore if you're doing it then basically you're saying you don't really care if they those children believe in god in the future at that point in time you're basically saying you don't really care if they believe in god in the future Again, would that be what God wants? No. I mean, you can look at the pagan side because there is a pagan side of Santa Claus and the story of Santa Claus and where where that belief and myth and you know children's fable came from. There is, you know, pagan background to all of that stuff. Okay, you can look into that. But then again, don't need to do you so you know as soon as you know that you're lying you know it's not light it's darkness you know that straight away as soon as you know it's a lie you know it's not truth truth is light lie is darkness so you know it's darkness and you know where it's coming from and you're still doing it oh but the problem is people don't think do they really they just do it yeah people think if they're nice then god will like that because they're complete idiots yeah if you think you're nice then basically you're still of the world completely 
if you think that God will care if you're nice to everyone, he wants you to be true. That's what he wants. He wants you to be true. So, okay, if you think you're being true, if you're nice to everyone, then you're a liar. If you're a liar, then you're from the devil, not from God. And that's the point. There's a lot of people, like the feeling station, the person in charge of that, he's a liar. Yeah. Well, if he thinks you, know, you should be nice to everyone, and that's the right thing to do, and if he thinks he's nice to everyone, and that's true, then he's a liar, because, yeah, he's like everyone good and bad yet the problem is you can't see that because he won't let you see the bad yeah because yeah <sighs> yeah so of course he went to a church that was the same as him basically Well, the River Church, he went to that church as well. And he goes to the men's um, meeting as well in that church. So uh, as soon as I sent, see him there, I thought, oh, bloody hell, really? Really? That tells me a lot about this church now. If he's here, then, yeah, this church is the same as him because... If it wasn't the same as him, he wouldn't be here. Well, he wouldn't. Yeah, people like that want to go to a church just like them. Yeah. Encouraging people, that's all. Don't do anything else. Just encouraging people. Yeah, be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice. Yeah, just be nice. Don't be true, you know. If if you're, on a, yeah, if your life is really hard right now, you know, keep it to yourself. Don't talk about it. And if you think the church is wrong or the um, the filling station is wrong, keep it to yourself. Yeah, we don't want to know about that. Well, the problem is, if that's true, then you can't change. You can't deal with the issues because you don't want to know about the issues, do you? So if you don't want to know about the issues, you can't deal with the issues. No. It all actually comes from the same place, really. It's darkness. Because it's all darkness. It's all the same darkness as telling kids about Santa. Really. Because, yeah, you're lying. If you're saying we're only nice and yeah, there's no issues, there's no issues, there's no issues, there's no issues, then you're lying. If you're saying that Santa is real, then you're lying. So it's, it's the same place, it's lying. Yeah. As I said before, you know straight away that lying is not from God. You know that. So, yeah, as I said before, encouraging people, and only encouraging people, not talking truth. And truth is bad, because it could hurt someone. Yeah. Someone could say, oh, I don't like that. Yeah, I'm offended by that then, oh, you can't say that, oh, no, you can't say anything like that, oh, no, no, you have to repent now because you offended that person. Um, where is that in the Bible? Please, where is that in the Bible? It's not there, is it? Because, again, that's a lie. It is a lie, that's only a lie. And, yeah, 
It's not from God at all. God wants people to deal with their issues. So if you can't talk about issues, then where are you from? Who wants people to have their issues all the time? And still have those issues when they're 60 or 70 or 80? Is it God? No, it's a devil. So having a church that won't talk about issues, it's not from God because God wants people to sort their issues out because it helps them. It's a blessing for them. And it helps other people when they see that. Yeah, God helping them to deal with their issues. That helps everyone. Um, but not dealing with your issues is only from the devil. It's not from God. Yeah. It's very important for people to un understand that. Which at the moment, I don't think in church they do understand it. Because in church they think, if it feels good to me, it must be from God. No. You know, the understanding is, you know, the, the easy road is a road to hell. The tough road is a road to, to heaven. But the church has changed that now. The easy road is a road to heaven. And the hard road is the road to hell. That's what the church thinks now. Yeah. And that's not good at all. But it seems to be truth. So there you go. God bless. I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.